So this is um, number five of our um, journey, and we're going to talk about the key facts that you need to know when doing an income tax computation. So remember that on your exam paper, question number one is always going to involve you doing a bit of income tax. So what are the, fa the five key facts that you need to know when you're doing an income tax computation? So the first key fact that we're going to talk about is which question is it on the paper? So that, that's obviously you need to know that which question on exam paper. All right. So that's a key fact, isn't it? And, and it's always going to be question number one. All right. So that's uh, the first key fact. When you're doing question number one, what do you do first? All right, so the second key fact, what to do first. Now, the answer to that is that you read the requirements. All right, so the next key fact is read the requirements. Because it's very important that you answer what the examiner has asked for. Then, obviously, the second thing you've got to do is read the question, all right? So read the requirements and then read uh, the question, all right? So those are the things you do first. The third key fact when you're doing these questions is what do you do when you're reading the question, all right? So what uh, do you look for, all right, in the question? All right? what, what sort of things do you look for? Well, you've got to find all the different types of income that the person has. So, you know, you might have somebody who's self-employed or um, maybe they've got some employment income. So on your question paper, mark on uh, what parts help calculate T or I or R, or E, or D, all right? So, so if there's a paragraph about somebody starting to trade, you write T, somebody employed. So mark that on your question paper, what bits for what. And the next key thing is, you know, what to do next. Once you've done that, so what's the next uh, key thing? So what happens next? Well, the next thing is to set up the pro forma, income tax pro forma. So you must know the income tax pro forma. That's another key fact, that you must know what the income tax pro forma looks like. And I always split it into four parts. So the first part is to work out the taxable income. The second part is to work out the income tax. And the third part is to add back any pension payments in excess of the annual allowance. And then the fourth part is to subtract any income tax that's been already paid. Once you've set up your pro forma and, and calculated all the different types of income, you add up all the different types of income. So remember how to work out the income tax. So add up all the numbers and compute income tax. So when you're doing an income tax computation, the key things to do are, first of all, going through that again, is to remember it's question one on the paper, to read the requirements, read the question, and when you read the question, what do you look for? You look for information about trading income and mark that on, and employment income and mark it on. And then the next thing that happens is you've now got to work out these things and then add them all up, take away the personal allowance, and calculate your tax. The pro forma, I have sort of shown you the pro forma here with the various parts. So this would be your first part down to here. And then the second part is where you work out your tax. And then the third part. And then finally, the last part. So, you know, knowing all the parts is another key uh, things to success is to know all the parts and to follow the parts one by one until you get to the very, very end. So practice the key facts and the key factors that you need to understand and practice doing question ones and you should get a good mark in that question. So good luck and hope you can do income tax questions very easily now.